Hey, one, two, three, we are live. So yeah, my internet got super cacked yesterday. So basically we need six or seven megabyte upload per second. And we got like between zero and one. Yeah, I wonder what's the reason behind optical internet being like stomped for a whole evening in uh, this location. Who can black cell in the house? Okay, at least I can continue, but it's fucking 8 in the morning in this gulag, so we lost all the euro cells in the house. Who knows, maybe some American cells are still out there. Let me know who is in the house, snuggle the like button. So yeah, middle finger to my internet provider, because they decide to give you one megabyte upload on Sunday evening. Rob you out of your fucking hope, GG. They should know best, the fucking inkwells are stuck inside, indoors, they, they don't know. They can't go anywhere, the fuck, only internet is the good cope. So yeah, we're gonna continue with No One Lives Forever 2 with white, white fix screen. We're gonna, we're gonna LARP as a, a British Stacy today. Oh, I see Poseidon in the house. I see Beetle in the house. I see Bquix in the house. Hey, 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 I see question, American, would you forgive your wife if you found out she cheated on you before you got married? So, no, no, that would disrupt the trust forever and also marriage is a concept. I'm not uh, heading to do that unless there are perfect conditions to do it. Yeah? For me it's very abstract and very far in the distance, even if I'm not even sure if it's a good uh, decision. So yeah, but uh, it's a different uh, scenario in SEA because uh, marriage visa also can uh, manifest into like a long stay long stay term for you but yeah you have to think hard about this it's not a good trade off yeah. what if you knew for sure she would not cheat in the marriage. But I don't know, this is very hypothetical and abstract question and uh, I haven't I don't I don't have the answer. And I don't know you have to define forgiveness because uh, I only know such things as a breach of trust, you know, and reputation and stuff like that. I, I, I think I never forget... Uh... Forgive. <laughs> so yeah, it's probably midnight in the um, west coast. We have morning in Central Europe. Finishing my Supreme Gentleman drink. So a lot of things are recently happening in the NPC world, and public, international sphere. But it's, I rather prefer not to talk about politics. Especially if I have to talk to myself like a retard autist alone. 
GG This is why we invented Gulag stream Yeah Unless the fucking provider decides to, to cuck me down Bro, I was cucked worse than some chihuahua on the leash It's like, they give me half megabyte upload To do fucking what, you know? Wow, I'm lucky we have a smooth 7 mega upload right now. Hopefully I finish at least half of the game before uh, it gets super boring. Oh, I see question. Are you dating the second boy did? Uh, believe it or not, my friend, even that has already passed. Basically, even my second uh, partner basically decided to fade away but I don't blame them it was a uh, very very peaceful and very I, I don't know how to de describe this and I ask uh, some boils for guidance and they basically said this is just ex practice experience most likely yeah because here is the deal you will go to asia and let's say you will have a gf after i don't know more than decade of total to sell them whatever it's gonna be very intense but the, the foid most likely break up with you and then some other boy will have to tell you it was a practice otherwise you're gonna get too, too heavy, heavy attach or some shit hey Anon Anon I'm streaming early right now because imagine <laughs> I started this live stream yesterday evening but my provider was giving me almost zero megabyte upload and you know what that means yeah technical fucking bullshit so yeah this is very rare occurrence of me streaming in the morning so probably american cells in the house come on Beetle. i mean i know you are joking but uh, people who did that and they cream pied some random girls basically the authorities got take care of it. They they gonna contact you basically at some point and ask for alimonies and yeah. In in modern era, it's impossible to hide basically. So yeah, Mister B B Kivsk, you don't have to feel sorry because Thailand was Thailand saved my life so 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 good there is nothing to regret yeah nothing it was a perfect storm but more like it was a perfect sunshine I would say because uh, on the contrary here in the fucking gulag every day fucking troubleshooting it's either troubleshooting opportunities or uh, technicalities or relations or weather or some protection or some economic bullshit basically it's fucking struggle bullshit bro half of the time in the gulag i'm just inventing uh, either some devices to protect myself or you actually inventing some psyops for the npcs oh boy i have such a long list like, if I told this to some NPCs, they would send me straight to the psychiatry. Yeah. Anyway, <clears throat> it's also open mic. My stream element is not working, so... I'm gonna do this manually. See, nothing fucking works in this fucking gulag. Nothing works. 
and current tube have update every 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 week. Everything is cracked. Pop side that is correct. In my honest opinion, every Intel should should go to Thailand and get a small dosage of like a cure. Just only to get you far from roping. That's that's for real. Not working. Gulag stream number fifteen continuation from yesterday. We actually lost it to the upload during the live stream. And then uh, the, the quick chat told me like, hey, we got one FPS, mm -hmm. GG, Gulagnet in the house. Hey, guess what? Nobody gonna cack me out and eat AM. I see five people in the house. Let me know who is watching. Okay. My anger fuel is almost... So yeah, we finished LARPing as a British Stacy. Sadly slaying some noodle Stacys, which I don't like. But that's okay, because... Later in the game we got this Kuri level, that is what I'm waiting for. So Hi Hoi is asking where did you find girls in Thailand? I want to go this summer. Okay, so I can tell you two two very separate strategies, okay? I don't know what kind of C Max here you are or you gonna be. But either do your homework with the dating apps and look for a normal factory girl or something. I can elaborate exactly which dating apps top top five in that region. And the second strategy is basically there is this page called FIFA fans and uh, yeah, you just pick and go and that's it. Yeah. So, directly answer your question. Hi, hoi. This is the page for you, it's like a catalog. Uh, and yeah, I don't have to elaborate anymore. You, you, you know exactly what to do. But I didn't... I did the first method and later later much later on i tried the second one so uh, but you have to choose what type of style is yours hey dcm thanks for tuning in well be tall you don't have to like trigger people to go there because first thing first everybody needs to be ready and uh, for me the minimum threshold to go there is around two and two and a half K and that's only for me yeah. Westerners must be better prepared I think they don't know how to save money like I do I had to, I had I had to learn everything yeah hi hoi I can elaborate on the top five top six on the on the discord because I don't I can't with this on YouTube might get me in trouble. Yeah. 
Where do I finish? Okay, I have uh, some uh, idiot outside uh, with the chainsaw doing some noise. So let me know if it's in the live stream. Such a nice a tree model for the year 2001 or 2002. Such a nice model of the tree, to be honest. Yeah, I can appreciate like aesthetics rendering factors of the computing power back in the lame era. Hey, cheat, do you want some hooker? But well, you have to go to Japan, bro. So what did I forgot yesterday to say? I don't know. Be careful. Hey, this looks like boo pink. So, imagine, they have fending machines in Japan on every 3 meters. Yeah, it's like doing biz business in Thailand, even Thailand had vending machines. But for some reason, my Gulag city, especially in this neighborhood, I don't know, it's in the year 2023 and n nobody have put or invented or decided to place a fucking machine in my neighborhood because after 9 p.m. bro after 8 p.m. you can't find fucking food in this gulag so I was thinking maybe we should we should put vending machine somewhere here in the neighborhood yeah I can already Im imagine having fucking Bureau of whatever the fuck on my neck, trying to fucking put me down for cashing out in this gulag. It's impossible to do business in this gulag shit. Hey, Jano Latsko, thanks for tuning in. Yeah, I'm live streaming in the morning. I was uh, robbed out of bandwidth in the evening for some unknown reason. As if I had to share my fucking bandwidth with some elements of this provider, whatever the fuck, I don't know. Very angry about it. When did you went to sleep? Yeah, between now and midnight or something. Yeah, yeah, no, that's because there, there has to be a reason why yesterday optic bandwidth went from full speed to 1% speed. And there has to be a reason for that. Yeah. 
I wish I can elaborate, but I would that would be too too brutal. Yeah. Oh, Anon, Anon, uh, these days I'm so tired because I'm stuck between wages. And it's just heavy stuff. Uh, doesn't make any sense to send fucking Hobbit to, to do uh, Ogre, Ogre work. Yeah, but uh, this is how the city is. I tried to do sa sales, basically. Retail stuff. So I went to fucking interviews. And here is the deal, four or five arrogant idiots in position of power are gonna surround you and they start to gaslight you at the same time. And you have, and you need to have the fucking mental strength and the level of, of actress, of actor, like, uh, to, to pretend and convince them that you are the perfect candidate and you really want this job, eh? But guess what? That's not my style, that's not me. So I went there and I just told them I'm looking something to spend winter inside and work. And the fucking idiots there instantly started to accusing me of Oh, mister, you don't, you don't even want to work. You strike me as a person that doesn't even want to work. And shit like that. Fucking idiots, deceiving fucking trolls. But I know what they are looking for. I saw what kind of people work there and... Uh, they are only hiring like obedient blonde chad lights that are smiling constantly. It's like in that movie Office Space when you went to to that restaurant where Jennifer Aniston was working with that smiling retard. Yeah. This is what they are looking in in this city. That movie is pretty much very good by the way. It's called Office Space. Check it out. Hey, shekels. Let's see what happened. Post draft, three coffees, better internet. Thanks, man. I'm gonna use it for the mobile internet for my wagey. So, yeah, Mr. Bakivx, the fifth pants page is really, really, really good, but you need to get familiar with uh, translators, add ons, and. Uh, extensions between basically to translate between uh, Thai and English Popsai, of course the, the dating market in the West is, is finished and destroyed your only option is to pay some creature that doesn't even remind a, a foid and she probably asked, uh, I don't know, 250 euro for one hour which by the way takes me one fucking month to, to earn it. There is no logic. There is no fucking logic. There is no... This is not a service. This is extortion or some bullshit. Medic and Germany is so depressing. Of course it's depressing. The whole... The West is completely collapsed and finished. There is nothing to continue here only to grab shekels and escape to Asia as fast as we can. Oh, it's beyond finished, bro. The only people that, are, uh, that have access to creating families are uh, yeah, only chats. That's it. I have to find that fucking house. So the 
the same pattern I see everywhere in the street for the last 33 years, basically. Is yeah, the only couples I see. The young couples, if I see young couples, it's only tall dude and some void and then and tall dude and that's it. <laughs> it's a uh, law. Yeah, yeah, TCM. I went to those job interviews and I acted. I don't have reason not to act confident. I just act myself. Yeah. But it's all about perception of your looks, basically. It was lost in the first half second of me entering that, that idiotic room with those idiotic moggers earning probably 20,000 euro. And guess what? Those idiots tried to convince me like they pay, they are paying 4 euro to employees, which is ultra low. You can't save up anything. It's, it's less. You, you can't even buy food for that. Yeah. Hey, Popsai, uh, this scenario where uh, Chad Light is dating Landwell is more and more prevalent. It's so alarming. I've seen this so many times and I was I almost vomited. So I don't know, it's uh, the inaccessibility factor, basically. And the demographics is super fact. Sur surplus of men everywhere. There is simply not enough young females in this area. It's doomed, it's lost, it's over. The only solution is extreme relocation. Very extreme relocation, I'm talking different continent, different race, everything. Where the fuck I have to go? Oh, here. Bro, you're gonna... My blood is gonna be boiling if I'm gonna talk about this degeneracy, about this ultra-dead dating market. Which is absolutely fucking dead. Well, next year the, the Slavic voids gonna be probably have birth rates like minus 0 0.5. Sure, they're gonna adapt, adopt dogs. Replacement, total population replacement with dogs and chihuahuas and labradors and whatever the fuck. Pitbulls, yeah. So many pitbulls out there. But all voids are coping with these small, ugly incel dogs, you know, the subhuman uh, areas and whatever. Good work! I'll mark the location of the meeting on this map. Map, okay. Okay, follow me. Hey Pops, I even that is impossible to have relationship. So I give you example. <laughs> Imagine if I win a Tipos Bingo fucking Euro lottery tomorrow. I will be I will have twenty million euro. Nothing gonna change in my intimate life basically in this location because you can't force attraction in this location. And they don't even care about shekels. Foids are making more shekels than uh, any rich dude. So the only solution here is technology, which means airplane and Geomax. Yeah. We are very lucky to live Maybe not as an incel, but at least that airplanes can deliver you somewhere else. The patrols are heavier in this part of town. Yeah, it's 
it's pointless to repeat myself, maybe watch my SEA live streams. I was talking about the comparisons between Gulag and Asia. It's very strong, very very strong contrast. Can't run with this because Stacy boots probably. PZ soda, yes, please. Can I have PZ soda? It's a beautiful, slim, yummy model. You're in trouble now. Oops. Face me. Oops, I'm fucked. Unless she... It's not about rather being alone. Uh, the hopelessness, like there is no solution in your location. This is why hold the truth hostage was right. Uh, the pussy is global, not local. And only after that I, I started to take geomaxing seriously. Because this location is completely Beyond defeated, beyond lost, beyond savable. Nothing can save it's Central Europe. It's, it's beyond finished. Okay, there is a message we decoded. So, Mark, what is your wage and how how did it went? Some black pill encounters, some foids have triggered you or something. Medican, did you feel full of motivation after getting attention from foids? Of course, don't you remember the live streams? It's really good to get undivided attention from everyone and a, a really genuine one, a pleasant one then you fly back to Gulag and everything is turned off uh, it, it's like being dead yeah.
We got 10 people in the house, thanks for tuning in. Now do the like button. You don't have a watch? I don't need one. Ninjas can tell time by the slit of a oh. cat's eye. That only works during daylight. Besides, what happens if you don't have a cat handy? That's why I always carry dried fish. Is it easier just to wear a watch? <clears throat> Mind, I'll go ask somebody else. Well. Maybe we'll go ER mode instead of stealth. Isako. When you out of the gulag again? No, well, that's a good question. This time, yeah, I'm preparing much. Even though it's gonna be the fourth time. Yeah, the things are not completely ready. Yeah, I can elaborate after the show, maybe, in the VC.
Yeah, TCM, that is correct. Just like you said, it. Uh, Thailand's gonna give you life fuel and Gulak gonna give you Sui fuel. I just don't know how else to elaborate. Three month uh, contract is good. You can figure out if you like co workers. The co workers are the boss. Popsai is asking vanilla question why Thailand, no, not Vietnam. Because it's easy, cheap, fast, quick to get into, and Thailand have weed, by the way. Thailand is more convenient than Vietnam. to make sensitivity lower, but this is the lowest sensitivity for them. Mouse. Hey, Poseidon, good luck in your wagey. That's a So, Vietnamese girls in the West, they not, when, after, after some time they will, they will cease to smile, basically, because smiling in the West, people either gonna think you are crazy or you are about to do something sinister. Yeah, in the West, smiling for no reason doesn't exist, so... That's why Asians in the West don't smile. They adapt to this idiotic, sad, grumpy grimaces that Palangs are doing. <laughs> of course, TCM. to Medi, come come. Haha, you don't see me. No.
Prague, in Prague, the Thai, the Vietnamese communities and the girls, they go for chat lights, chat chats. I mean, it makes sense. I mean, their attraction. Uh, how to say this? Those girls are. They carry too much youthness and uh, virality for normal chat to pass on it. Like. Absolutely see how Chad is actually impressed, not impressed, but allured by that. I mean, noodles are better. What what is there to say? Skiga over for Slavs. Need to figure out the shekel situation and get the fuck out of to Bangkok again. No solution, no salvation, no rainbow at the end of the tunnel and shit like that. Fucking gulag. So stupid. You won't get away from me. Ah! Oh, this is autistic. Thousand games, they didn't tell you what to do. Here I come. Sensei, the spy is here. Kill her. Uh-oh. 
we do what? But you're in trouble now. Wait, I see that hurt. So the marker. it okay no. so it was a trap Too slow, Stacy. But why? Don't be naive. You have many enemies. Which one sent you? A secret admirer, then? How flattering. I'm impressed. I didn't expect you to make it this far. I'm sorry. said that oh man be careful yes finally some proper shit you're sure she's dead of course she is Isako doesn't make mistakes <laughs> do you Isako well, that's reassuring. Although I'd be even more reassured if you brought me proof. Now, Dimitri, what did you expect? A head on a platter? Director, your <clears throat> mother is uh, on the phone. Oh, bother. Sensei, you said we could discuss my future when the girl was dead. Your future? Your future is with us, my dear. Uh, here's the number where you can reach me, old boy, although I'd encourage you not to. Sir, please reconsider. I haven't had a proper vacation for 15 years. I won't be talked out of this one. I was referring to the idea of leaving me in charge. Oh, do quit whining. Who else is there? Well then, I'm off. See you in a few weeks. Yes, sir. Temporary Director Lori. Yes. Dr. Schenker to see you. Excellent. Send him in. Doctor, how is she? Very lucky to be alive. The team found her just in time. She's been asking for you. Bruno! Sorry I couldn't come to Tokyo. The business in Prague turned a bit messy. How the bloody hell are you? Ready to get back to work? Let's not be hasty. Hasty? It's been nearly two weeks. I wouldn't recommend any strenuous activity. Listen to the doctor. I need you in tip-top shape. Then let me do something useful. I'm wasting away. Temporary Director Laurie, please report to the war room immediately. Temporary Director Laurie? Don't ask. I've got to run. You stay put. 
Gentlemen, sorry to have kept you waiting. Normally we wouldn't just barge in on you like this, but the situation is urgent. I'm Isaac Barnes. This is General Morgan Hawkins. Bruno Lowry, temporary director of Unity. Got your babysitting, eh? Quite so. I'm fine. This is you need to rest. General I thought Superman I told you to stay late. put. I didn't agree to. Gentlemen, this is Agent Archer, one of our top undercover operatives. I bet you she is. You ever swallow a lit cigar? Thank you, Dr. Schenker. Mr. Lowry, Miss Archer, allow me to get straight to the point. By all means. Are you familiar with the island of Chios? In the Sea of Marmara, indeed. It's highly coveted by all the major powers. Do you know why? Something to do with its natural resources, isn't it? Good lord. Precisely. We've reason to believe the Soviets are planning to invade Kios within the next two weeks. The second them Reds set foot on that island, Uncle Sam's got a Polaris-shaped surprise package waiting to be signed, sealed, and delivered. Right to Moscow. As the General suggests, the consequences of an invasion could be catastrophic. A full-scale nuclear conflict is a distinct possibility. But Kios is virtually impregnable to a conventional assault. How are they planning to invade? We're hoping you can find out. All we know is that it involves a secret weapon program known as Bro, Project what about Omega. Glasses? We Check out the, fed them commies a nuclear the general classic model. That is just we brutal. Have. Of course we will. Welcome to Siberia, based. So this is like a gulag level now. Mm.
One, two, three. Okay. According to our spies, the Soviets are coordinating this project from an out-of-the-way base in Siberia. We need to know what we're dealing with, and we think the answer is somewhere inside that facility. Nice. I already feel cold. Yeah, my limbs are already cold. Just seeing and hearing the snow, that's how it works. This path leads back to the plane. There's nothing worth seeing in that direction. Uh oh, I forgot keys. Maybe you can open door. You have lockpick. Use it on door now. Hurry before we freeze. Isn't she scared to be stranded in a Siberian wasteland like this? I see. Oh yeah, that's that's for sure. Can't argue about that. This sci-fi uh, character is indeed super Stacy. Generator is out back. What should we do with the rabbit? Ah, we are good inkwells. We don't kill animals. Or hunt. Yeah. Usually hunters... I heard I heard as a rumors, or maybe like a, it's a consensus that... Uh, the, all the hunters are fucked up in the head. Like a bunch of psychotic, you know... Aggressive, egoistic idiots. Like even when uh, when Berlin fell, like the hunters, they were uh, joining those executioners' uh, crews. Basically, they hunted civilians. I don't know. I, I read some comment. There was some guy telling like blah blah blah, blah blah blah. I I know ten hunters, and uh, nine out of them are fucked up in the head so what's the what's the deal with the hunters people and uh, like a forest foresters you know and this type This is strangely in inviting. 
It's like I want to like get in it. Oh no, terrible idea. Fuck the winter, fuck snow. Okay. Yeah. It. This is so depressing. So yeah, it's open mic by the way. Let me see the Discord. Anybody can join. to go downstairs Fox Hunt, this is Fox Hound. We have left some items for you in the shed. The combination of the lock is 36742. Take care of yourself. They must have seen plane. If they find us big trouble. Escape. I'm gonna try something. Oh. Coming for you. Kiss yourself goodbye. Oh, put it down. Help me get this thing off. Look, he's trapped. Low. And what? What now? Can he shoot? Oh man, this is not good. Hey buddy Poyo. That's it? Hold on, do we have quick load? the radio so it's gonna go here uh-huh okay so check it out <coughs> radio is in back room you shouldn't smoke tobacco. But I understand this is Siberia. You can't <laughs> score any weed. Seen plane. If they find us big trouble. Look. Up. Oh, I a spice. Low. Low. Give yourself up. I've got you. Now, I'll give you a hit. Okay. So we're gonna let the second inkwell leave. Don't make 
Make me hunt you down. He, he get out of it. I think he get out. You uh -huh. are for it. Shed is out back. The sensitivity is too high, buddy boys. What should I do? Trolls, mouse. It's the lowest possible. Shit. Launcher, tranquilizer. Okay. Oh my fucking god. Snowmobile is out of gas. Look for gas can. Ah, shit. Where can it be? Okay, so... How much noise do we make? That's the question. Oh no. Okay, he's just pissing. Okay. Okay. Intruder! Most.
activity installation. guy that was pissing earlier hey all right you can you can chill here smoke some weed or something bro being watched you are being watched oh fuck Eight people in the house. We want to chat, keep it key. this shit let me guess we're gonna crash
fucking what? Yeah, this is this looks totally fucked. That's, I think we broke the game. See now. So hey, Kemo Sabe, thanks for tuning in. I'll see you later. Yeah, it's super early for Euro sales. It's super late for American sales, but like I mentioned earlier. I didn't have upload speed in the evening. The services in Gulag are like that. Unreliable. See now. You can't reverse. Just ahead. Once you 
Kurwa, kurwa. To jest fakt. Ok, let's go. So, this one is going to break. Okay. No? Oh, this one. Probably this. So blind. Again.
Let's see what are they going to do when they wake up. Oh, here it comes. Why am I unarmed? He's running somewhere. Yeah, we are good uh, Huckles, we're gonna just put Russians to sleep and when they wake up, they can go home. Which way to go? I think I am
That's the communications relay tower above you on your right. OBS just crashed, let me know if we still live. Guy is pissing. You don't have a chance! Fuck. Stealth is dog shit. Have a paper clip? We're all out. Have you requisitioned more? Of course not. What do you mean? Why not? Do you know how many forms you have to fill out to request office materials? It's worse than lavatory supplies. We don't need paper clips. And when you run out of staples? I can live without staples. You disgust me. Well, F6. Let's go. Hey. Looks like we got an intruder. You ask for it. Death to spies. Feeling sleepy. I see you. This way. Come quickly. This way. <laughs> Can't save them all, but we will have a lot of Soviets running naked without guns after this. A banana, check it out. Request. Over both pages of Soviet military readiness. What? Okay, okay.
Okay, wake up. Assist me, comrades! I have tranquilizers. Okay, okay. Wow, I can't aim properly. This is crazy. Pilot with damage. Should invest into search everything. Again. Wow, my OBS is sparing hard today. good. Uh 
Hello, pilot. Everybody is sleeping. Thank you for rescuing me. I'll go back to Daksha. I can follow road if you open gate. Must rest. I see you. Oops. Feeling sleepy. Why am I unarmed? Exactly. What you gonna do? Where is my weapon? Please! <laughs> Let me know when coast is clear. We coast is clear? Why am I unarmed? You mean slay all the Soviets? This is how it's designed? Back then? Okay. I'm not sure. This way, come quickly. Why am I unarmed? Oh, that hurt. That was a headshot, bro. Please, comrade. A greedy capitalist spy stole my weapon! Here I go! Tell me when it's safe. Did the spy come this way? It better follow these footprints. Where is my weapon? Uh. Oh no. Oh wow. Please. Oh, I see now. I'm Don't going. Shoot. Please, comrade. Tell me when. <coughs> Cover me. Tell me when it's safe. Here I go. Oh, this is how it works. Ah, too late. I could have saved the ammo. Huh? Gate is locked! Open it! Thank you. I'll wait at Dacha. I should do what?
something because it's not it This is the house from the beginning. How do I zoom? That's the question.
must rest. Last year for holiday, they sent me to Murmansk. At least I got Minsk. A dream of being sent to Minsk. I don't remember what it's like to go to bed without wearing a jacket. Man, this is some Gulag incel jokes. Only Gulag cells understand. Ah, you have fire going on. I love that. Something's wrong here. Out of tranquilizer. What's wrong? Give yourself up! Each other. Maybe... No, no. I don't know. Looks like we have to go hot. You there, you stop! Asked for it. Assist! Know how to lie down.
Aha, I don't have bombs. You're kidding me? Where should I get it? Oh. We can't. Mm. Need explosives. How can I finish? Oh, here we go, exactly what I need. All the way back? No way. Yeah, Mr. Soviet over there. What is this angry kitten doing anyway? Is 
this angry kitten bullshit. Jesus, this is so stupid. Okay. I'm going to heat up the soup. So intermission. Two minutes. Pixel soup is heating up, so in two minutes I'm gonna check on it. Uh, the whole day long is tensile views. I lost pressure in my subhuman bike on the tires, I don't know what to do.
di sini. No way. Search. Update. Somebody else, I don't have any. You need to, you need to go to Thailand. And then you, you're not gonna be in, so... Cabbage soup. Have you spent time near the latrine? Have mercy on your fellow comrade. Okay. soup hold on
I hope these speak Kindergarten making noises so much from the outside. Infiltrate me, place explosive fuel upon water pool, outer gate. Oops. Oh wow, check it out, it's a key for cabbage suit. What's wrong? Fuck.
brutal. American Blue Jeans. There you go. Slavic voids in the past, you just keep them blue jeans and you win. But now, even 10 supercars is not enough. That's not the point, it's all about genetics anyway. You are the whole time you were here. Somebody outside. Are you all right? I'm not feeling. <laughs> Very condemning, brutal. Poor Russians, they have been robbed of their futures and lives. <coughs> it's a spot! Take it easy, bro. I need to eat for this, yeah.
Where's Mikhail? Filing duty in main records building. Why? What did he do? Zukov caught him with an American magazine. Pornography? Worse. Investment planning. I never would have figured Mikhail for a capitalist swine. He said he was using it for toilet paper because they'd been out for three weeks and he didn't want to soil a patriotic literature. And Zukov still punished him? If you ask me, he just wanted the magazine. He couldn't confiscate it if he didn't punish Mikhail. Now that you mention it, Zukov is getting close to retirement. Brutal punishment for American magazine. Did I hear? Now you're in trouble! You've made me very Fuck. mad! Fuck. Totally fucked. These NPCs are so strong. Hello, kitten. Are you lost? What? Sounded ah. Uh. It's a spy! Get a spy! Sound the alarm! Damn it. I need to go there. It's a spy! Sound the alarm! coming for you! What's wrong? Oh no. Sorry, comrade, but there's less red tape this way. Come out at once! Now you're in trouble!
Where <laughs> are you? What did he mean? Uh, less red tape. What? The fuck? Nothing. You are a brave man. Show yourself. I give up. Sound the alarm. I'm really very mad. Give yourself up. Where is everybody? Vodka would be good about now. Question is downstairs or upstairs? Lugar. Where can we find sugar? Welcome to the mushroom people. Sugar. Hey, what that's... happened? The only sugar I know. I'm not filling out the paperwork. Don't make me hunt you down! Who's there? I shall get a spy! It's just a hit!
Hey, you! Please do not, please do not liquidate my family, <laughs> brutal. Less red tape this way. What's wrong? You are a brave man. Show yourself. Filling out the paperwork. Show yourself. This is the way. Bullshit. the way to go what's the objective if you play Oloma you've made me very mad you can't escape what don't the right way
Here I come! Give yourself up! Intruder! I've got you! And figure out better approach. How do they expect us to stay fit eating this gruel? I miss borscht. I miss pierogi. I miss bread. But we have bread. I'd rather eat rocks. You can kill a rabbit with oh. this bread. Actually, that's not a bad idea. Rabbits too? I'm patrolling the west perimeter tomorrow. I'll hunt. You cook. It's a deal. Something's wrong here. It's a spy! Okay. Well. Don't get up, never Sorry, get up. Sorry, comrade, but there's less red tape this way. What's going on? What's wrong? You are a brave man. Where are you? Fuck about our arm. Come out at once. Don't make me hunt you down. Are you you right? can't escape! Okay. Ah, good man. I'm not filling out the paperwork. Give yourself up. <laughs> what so. happened? Sorry, comrade, but there's less red tape this way. Don't make me hunt you down. Wow, saved it literally. Fuck.
okay. Under the lock. No sugar, no toilet paper, no nothing. Revolution is indeed Generator. It's a spy! You're a spy! Here I come! come. For you. Sound the alarm! I've got yes, you! Yes, anyway. I shall enjoy killing you!
know you're there. Imagination. Sorry, comrade, but there's less red tape this way. <laughs> Leave me alone. I'm on off. No, please. Come out at once. Where are you? Don't make hey, me hunt you, you down! You a spot! I'll get you for that! Oh, hold on there, pal! Safe in my office. Where was that fucking office? Let me guess, it's closed. Down the hall. He's not there now. Maybe he's in the restroom. They already checked. Smoking a cigarette? I searched everywhere. He's just gone. He could have gone back to the barracks. In the middle of a shift? He's on duty for another 11 hours. How could he just vanish? Boris vanished last month. Boris went AWOL. He must have. Without taking his coat or his hat? 
This is the Union of Soviet Socialist Republics. People don't just vanish without a trace. Tell that to Mikhail. An unmarked grave awaits you. Intruder! I'll feed you to the wolves! <laughs> it's a spy! <laughs> Dare two spies! I see you! I'm here. Liquidate Nikolai Zhukov. Okay. Hurry! Captain Delis spies are everywhere! Which way to go? That noise. It, oh, that, that hurt. Right. You've made me very mad. 
Hey, this is autistic. I heard something. Face me, coward! Most rest. <laughs> Did I hear? Feel I know you're there. Sleepy. What happened? Show yourself. <laughs> I hear a spy. <laughs> Fuck him too. Is the password? Big look, okay. What's wrong? I'm not filling out the paperwork. It could happen! The capitalist spy stole my weapon! Sorry, comrade, but there's less red tape this way. Hey, you! Get up! I'm not filling out the paperwork. Show yourself! Don't make me hunt you down! I know you're there! I've got you! I'll be good! Hey, where do I... Wait, I think we have we went here, no?
mouth Show at once. yourself! You... Please. Hey, must be circling around. Don't hurt me. <laughs> I shall enjoy. <laughs> no, please. There is... Okay, in nine here. Oh. Okay. There is a file with the number of... Face me, coward! I did it.
back to the plane. How much? We have 2000. in trouble. Where is that security safe? Are Same way I came. Oh, bloody boils. I don't know how to get the fuck out of this level.
there was a fire in this building, all the Soviets are fried. Laundry. I remember, eh, eh, laundry somewhere. Laundry room, and there was a. Here. Yes. She may try to come this way. Stay alert. Are you all right? Sound the alarm! What? No fucking way. No fucking way. What's the situation? We got us a spy on the loose. CIA? Heck if I know. Can't get straight answers out of anybody around here. Perhaps I don't play the explosive. Get back. <laughs> okay, but I don't. Explosives, autistic. the shit without
FPS. Oh, this is not. Here I come. to go. One bullet and I'm dead. Get back to plane, but there is no marker, there is no nothing. What should I do? Get back to the plane. All right, I heard that. Who's making that noise? Which way to go? 
We have a scooter. Designed for fucking women, say Mr. Gilly Dan. What up? Some reason I don't know how to get out of this level. Oh, now I see autism level three thousand medical. Can you believe that shit fucking crashed, bro? Or maybe we can... Yeah, if I, if I not start again, I'll take a break. of truth. Let's go. Which way? Said the plane, not the cabin. Kiss for sweet potatoes, goodbye.
this the right way? Who knows? sure if this is the right way weird I know you're around here somewhere.
Lodka gives me warm. Make me coffee. I'll be fine. How do I make coffee? Drink, Patty Boyo. Hey, hey, hey. So, I like have first two weeks NATO? Yeah, sure, why not? The citizens are acting like they want it. So bad. I'll drink coffee, you secure plane. Nothing. It means nothing. It's a gulag, bro. Sorry. Yeah, it means brother and Slavs. Makes 14, Mr. Volkov. Do you feel better yet? A little. Let's do one more. Bring in Laramie. Please, don't do this. Uh, I beg you. Feed him into the machine. Still upset. Bring in Mackenzie. Mother, we've been over this a thousand times. I'm not coming home for Christmas. You want to kill me like you killed your father. Mummy, Daddy died of dysentery in Kenya. He died of a broken heart because you never amounted to anything. When I think of the sacrifices we made... Goodbye, Mother. Don't you hang up... Marvin, be a good chap and fetch me a little drinky-poo, would you? Mr. Folkoff was disappointed to learn that Kate Archer is still alive. Then let him kill her. Don't be impertinent. She's not my enemy. She's my enemy and you're my retainer. Or have you forgotten who saved your life all those years ago? Don't tell me you're afraid of her. I fear no one. Then kill her and bring back proof this time. Her head on a platter should suffice. We were hoping for something a little more conclusive. What do you know about this harm organization? We've had dealings with them before. They were barely competent at the time. 
Rumor has it they've restructured the organization since then, but nobody's quite sure what that means exactly. Means you didn't kick their butts hard enough. If nothing else, we've established that Project Omega is Harm's brainchild, even if we still don't know exactly what it is. That proposal we found was dated 1965. And? That means it was well underway during the Harm incident last year. We've already scoured the North American facility where they were keeping Dr. Schenker. There's no mention of Project Omega in the files we recovered. Sadly, the Alpine facility was completely demolished. There's one other place I can think to look. Where? Akron, Ohio. We've searched Goodman's house. Blitzney. Pardon? His name was Melvin Blitzney. Tom Goodman died in Amsterdam, remember? Regardless, our teams have been through the place thoroughly. I haven't. This is a waste of time. We'll see. Well, be careful. I'll bring you a souvenir. Please don't. Akron, Ohio. This Kung Fu Spy of Fury. Nice. Okay, time to blaze. I need twenty seconds. Okay. Yeah, I love this map. So so much detail to everything. Mr. X, I am having trouble scoring with chicks. What? It makes it very hard to feel like a real super spy when girls don't want to talk to me. In the movies, spies always get a lot of women. This situation is affecting my morale. Oh. So we are dealing some... Uh, Investigating some incel story. Hey, Nero Atovich. Hey, hey. 
the devs, the monolith. Yeah, they had some, uh, they did some games back then. I think, uh, Blood series or something. was made between 2001 2002 basically released in some places 2003 people don't join this it's it's too early my location Let's see the discord yeah and generally like uh, it's a gulag stream Ever since I went to SEA, the open mics are not so big, you know, anymore. But I had a guest, a beetle, here, twice. This place is really detailed, where is the switch? Here. John is still around, it's just the boyos have like a private combos, you know. Um, so, likability and how to say this, attend ability is not negotiable. If somebody feels like joining in, they gonna join, that's how it works. That's the most black pill way I think about it. Okay, which... This is the Diary of Tom Goodman, Volume 2, August 14, 1965. Operation Imitation is proceeding ahead of schedule. It's only been a few weeks since I met Mr. X at that time in Fort Lauderdale, and already I have become Tom Goodman, secret agent extraordinaire. Tomorrow, I begin phase two. Exactly. You need to, the person need to have some topic so we can uh, realize. We can, uh, how to say this? Yeah, yeah. So I see seven people in the house. Who is watching? Let me know. Let me know how are you coping? What's up with your wages? And uh, tell me who is going to Thailand. Ah, oh, he's the stairs. Okay. So 
what's going on? What is this Tom Goodman? And who is Mr. X? To do something with that project Omega? To talk about conspiracy theories? That's a good question. <clears throat> I don't think so, but uh, I am willing to hear out anybody who wants to talk about it. Because, you know, sometimes the theories prove to be practice and like, you know, it's in interesting. Okay, hold on. Let's see. Okay, okay. Bootman, I see. Okay, one, two, three, we are live. Bootman. Is that you? Hey, this thing on? Yeah. Yeah, we are live. Cool. Um so I'm the guy who wrote in chat about conspiracy theory. So not much of a conspiracy theory. But do you think uh, the lunar cycle has anything to do with, like, women being attracted to men at all? Oh, man, that is a good question. I, I was already thinking about it. It's like, um, for me, for example, I worked at uh, Bolt. Where it's basically Uber, yeah, for like a year. And I'm not uh, like an insel or anything. I'm like a vault cell mostly because for years I've been like researching about women, what they do, and being like red pilled and at times black pilled about the situation. And just anyway, it, it doesn't matter. What what really uh, is apparent to me is when I drive around and women actually try to pick pick on me like uh hey do you have like this contact or that contact and it's always when the moon is moon it, when it's the new moon it's never on full moon yeah 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 have you noticed anything like similar because when, when i had a girlfriend like she would always like she she was one of those women that wouldn't uh wouldn't take any like pills or anything like that and she always had her period like on full moon, like on the dot, like on the first day of, of the full moon or the second day. And this has been going on for like years and we still keep in contact. And whenever like she's uh, she's sick, like we don't date anything, but whenever she's sick or something, I just ask her, hey, are you on the rag? And she says, yes, how did you know? And it's the full moon. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, no. Um... There has to be something to it. I wish I know more, you know? Yeah. Because cause, uh, what what interested me a lot, like they say, like it's, uh, they call it uh, the time of the month, right? But like, uh, it's never on the same day each month. It sort of like fluctuates because the moon like does a full rotation, like at, what, like 29 days or 29 and a half or something like that. So it always like fluctuates and it's not apparent but if you like track the lunar cycle it becomes pretty obvious like on the days when i drive bolt and the, uh, the uber thing and when it's uh, a full moon the guys are always like pissed off like there's like they never get any <laughs> and they're pissed off about it you know 
and they lamented it in my car. And whenever it's a new moon, I get hit on, and all the guys are like in in a good mood. It's uh it's pretty apparent. I don't know. Like that's that's all I wanted to like uh, bring up. Yeah, I would I would love to measure it up somehow, but uh, you know how insults have it like nobody's hitting on them. Because, yeah, I get uh, that, and like yeah, this is not like. Um... But sometimes like this is disgusting. But like like I said, sometimes in the past in my live streams, like sometimes uh, some grannies maybe are overly nice to me. Sometimes it's weird. It's like as if they are almost hitting on me, I, I can't tell. And I don't like it, you know. Uh, but but generally, maybe the behave, behavior changing. Everybody yeah, on, on the, on, in the, in the, on the planet, do you think everybody is affected? I feel it especially like on the older women too. Like it's, yeah. not, that, it's not that they always like hit on me, but they're just generally nicer. Like, I don't know, if, if I had to, if I had the goal to go out uh, at Friday, Saturday, I would just check the calendar whenever it's a new moon and go then. Okay, and but never uh, go how did you discover this? Hey, did you read some article or some YouTube video or somebody told you? No, no, I didn't do anything like that. It's just that I, I drive only nights because I hate traffic and I love like uh, speeding around the city and after a few months, it just became apparent, like, just clicked for me. Because I, I can always see the moon in the sky when I spend, like, six to eight hours during the night. Like, I can't not see it, you know? And after a while, it just became like, hey, this, uh, this is happening. <laughs> so, new moon, which uh, days you, you, may, you mean by that? Uh, it's the opposite of full moon. When you can't see the moon in the sky? Oh, it's very ra ra I know I don't mean random, but it's not... Uh, how to say this? Sorry? I, I need to look up on Google. How can I measure when it is? Well... well wait. Like, uh, you have a... Can you stream like a browser or something? Just type it in the uh, moon cycles. And when there's a part of the cycle in the moon when you can't see it, when it's uh, like covered up or whatever, like it's the opposite of full moon. That would be the, the, the weeks around it. Like from new moon to half a full moon. I don't know the names, how it's called. Let, let me check. Yeah, because I'm, I'm, I'm looking at this picture right now. Oh, okay, I can't okay, see it. Um, so can you re recall when was this happening to you? Approximately. Oh, like for me? Yeah. Uh, last year, November, I'd say. I noticed it first. And then it just kept happening. Like, I noticed it when this fat chick got into my car and uh, told me that I'm cute. I was offering me a blowjob and I was just disgusted by her. And then nothing happened for another month. And then like a month later, I was also like another girl proposed to me like, hey, want to spend time together, want to smoke and stuff like that. And it just kept happening like every month. But not on the like full moon, it just happens on, on new moon and then waning crescent moon, last quarter moon around this time. Uh, somebody in the chat asks, yeah. bro, do you have esoteric knowledge and stuff? I know, what do you mean about esoteric? Uh, there's lots of, a bunch of shit, like, I've, I've read a bunch of stuff throughout the years. But, like, you gotta be more specific. Sorry, Medican, if I... No, I need to know the same, because I was expecting some, uh, you joined... And I was thinking, like, okay, let's see what these guests have to say. Eh? And you ask me, like, do you know about this lunar, you know, new moon, like, oh, it's, you know, like, hitting, yada, yada. Well, there's a yeah. bunch of more stuff about the moon that's, like, really yeah. crazy. Like, I don't know if it's true or not, but there's, like, uh, 
there's this channel that talks about the moon being a reflection of our world. And it sounds really dumb. But then he uh, then he zooms in. By the way, this is not I'm not talking about the crater guy. Uh, I think it's called Vibes of Cosmos. And they zoom in on this uh, like a quarter part of the moon. And then they show like uh, Europe, Africa, Russia, America. And because it's like a reflection, so it's like a mirror image. So you have to like flip it and then it sort of makes sense. So, do you, do you believe in moon landings? Absolutely not. N no? I think it's a crock of shit. <laughs> like, uh, yeah. they only landed only that time, and there's like a vids of these uh, big head astronauts saying that, uh, oh, we lost the technology, we can't do it again. I'm like, what? <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? And there's also this... Uh, this video floating around on 4chan and some other forums where they show the original takeoff of the moon and like like the what do you call the the mm -hmm. spaceship whatever right it looks like a mm -hmm. piece of junk like it literally looks like a piece of junk in that video it just looks something like you could uh you could make in 15 minutes with a bunch of uh aluminum foil and some duct tape <laughs> it's crazy man mm. i'll i'll yeah. just link to it so I'll basically see. so what about the, all the apollo missions you know like like i mean they went there seven times no Supposedly, yeah, but there's like a bunch of videos that was lost and can't see it. And I don't know, man. There's like a there's also like a bunch of photos that he's uh, what, what it isn't me that said this, it isn't my idea. But there's these like uh, photo experts who can tell if like a photo has been fucked with, yeah, and they all say that the photos aren't. aren't I mean, I also watched those, like, debunking and then anti-debunking, debunking, you know, videos and, uh... Yeah, but it's its yeah. its its own rabbit hole and I try to not, like, spend time on it. Like, to me, like, uncovering lies is a waste of time, because ultimately you want to you wanna uncover mm -hmm. the truth, right? And just uncovering lies by themselves and going deeper and deeper doesn't really give like clues to the truth all that much you gotta like approach it from a different angle and thankfully some people have like if if they're lying the thing is if they're lying about one thing and then another thing it doesn't after that it doesn't really matter what else they even have to say so you can just in my opinion i would just disregard it altogether I don't know, maybe like space is real and stuff like that, but like the moon landing is uh, I don't know, to me it's a joke. I'd I like mean, to see uh, an actual moon landing now, but... Yeah, they are not repeating it ever since the 70s because it's very super fucking expensive and it, may, it makes no point to get there because it's just a bunch of dust on the moon. But like I don't yeah. yeah, maybe it's me. No, no, saying, it's gonna return. Yeah. It's gonna saying. return. Yeah, yeah. So, like, there is this sharp uh, dust, and uh, like, it, it's not viable economically to go there. But what about those the rovers on the Mars? Do you know? There is like three vehicles on the Mars already. Hey, so they say. So there are no not? I don't know, man. Like what I would really like to see is them uh, they talked about for like fifteen years, I think, about uh actual uh manned missions where you could go as a tourist to like the moon or Mars or whatever the fuck. And 
I would bet we're never gonna witness that in our lifetime. Like, not us going there, but anybody, really. Like, it feels like... It feels like, I don't know. But the more I try to look at it, it feels more... It's a lie, you know? Plus, yeah. yeah, there's no voids on the moon, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> or are there? It's freezing a little bit. Yeah, no saying. Uh, I don't know, YouTube is giving me some uh, bandwidth error bullshit, but I got okay upload right now, so I don't know. Yeah, I, I think for if uh, I just think the lunar cycles themselves are totally legit. There's something going on about that. Something is about that, like wa water retention or uh, something. Because like we are just uh, the planet is just spiraling, sp spiraling oh. into into nothingness all the time. Constantly, and we are being like sieged by moon. So yeah, the different position has to mean something. It it means a lot to the plants for sure, cause like, like my grandma, she's like ninety something right now, and she still moves around in the in the garden, and she keeps mm -hmm. track of the moon like every every spring every summer to know when to sprout when to when to give uh, the plants whatever nutrients it like to like matters massive for that so it should matter for other living things as well like my cat goes damn nuts during the full oh moon shit the animals around. yeah they yeah they know the best and then set they sense it they don't know shit they can only sense it and they act upon that uh, by the way, have you heard about copulin? Say again? Co uh, have you heard about copulin? C-O-P-U-L-I-N. Copulin. Copulin. I don't know. Is that animal or some drag? or? It's, uh, it's like a hormone that women produce that attracts males. For example, uh, women emit this uh, copulin during their ovulation cycle. So okay. I think it's during that, uh, call it uh, the new moon, in the couple of weeks when the new moon is out. Uh, they emit this and uh, males pick up on the scent wow. and their testosterone is raised when they pick the scent up. and they get more attract to get attracted to the female more than they would have if they would have not picked up the scent. Well, I'm just really on the on the Google about it. yeah, it's like uh, it's meant to be used by women. Yeah. And there's there's a bunch of like um, uh, bullshit perfume like salesmen that use yeah. this as well copulin wow use this use that but like uh there's some studies with people uh -huh. where they let the males sweat smell the women's like scent down there uh -huh. from a like a petri dish and without knowing which women's scent they took they rate exactly that woman higher than other women they can pick up which whose scent is whose basically so like if you're in a room with a bunch of women and one of them is ovulating and the others are not from pills or whatever you're gonna you're gonna be attracted to that woman specifically because of the hormone that you smell from basically it's cooties in the air <laughs> it's cooties wow that's crazy. Yeah, it's also why 
Nero says in the chat, that's why panty snivers have a favorite pair. Yeah. It's, uh, that's why males love smelling panties. Also, it raises your testosterone, too. Like, uh, in the study, it said, like, almost 150% smelling it. So, like, you literally get, like, aggressive and do shit, you know? Nah, you're, you're serious. Oh, it's fine. So, yeah, I don't know, like, like I have a bunch of more top, but... Of course, belly. Very thirsty. Well, Nero said he stole panties. <laughs> so, so crazy. Uh, that's just fucked up, bro. Actually, there's there's like a I I do some scripts from time to time, and I was propositioned from a guy uh, to hacking into these accounts on a site called antideal.com. And I ran a script to basically brute force some women's accounts. And then I would sell it to him, like like 50 bucks per account. And what he would do, he would also ask me to like hack buyer's accounts, like the male's account. And then he would uh, put on the rating and whatever on his like quote unquote female account that we hacked. And he would just sell, like, fake panties, but never send them. And he told me there's, like, hundreds of dudes messaging these women for, like, used panties and stuff. Wow, crazy. And well, most of them didn't even want, like, verification or a video that that's an actual woman or whatever. They would just straight up send the money or crypto. You know? Like, it's insane. Yeah, it's like when civilization is defined by despair. Uh, BKYWX says there's a study where they asked women to smell guys use shirts and discovered chads by smell. Funny thing about that, I looked into that too, and it has a lot to do with like uh, diet and hormones. But one uh, one particular thing that uh, with the smell of the sweat has to do with the composition of your fatty acids so for example if you have like a bunch of uh, plant fatty acids in your body they're gonna smell like really rancid and uh unattractive but if, if you eat like mostly uh animal based fat and i only mean like ruminants not pigs or chicken or fish because those like are poison to hell but like ruminants, like cows, of uh, goats, anybody with, with a couple of stomachs, basically, more than one stomach, uh, then you actually emit a better smelling sweat because of the lipid composition, the fat composition in your body. And mo if you notice, most chads like have very low body fat, and they don't have to like do much to maintain it. And it has to do with, like, it, it's not, like, calories in, calories out. Like, that comes later. But firstly, it's just it's just better hormones and better fat composition to begin. That's burning now? <laughs> okay. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> uh, look, I was looking into this for, like, six years, so it's hard to say it all in two sentences. Yeah, no, I... It is exactly like that. That's why gym cell memes exist because charts doesn't really have to put much that of a exhausting effort into transformation or improvement per se. And then you have the rest of us here. Yeah? You have to put yeah. out thousands of hours of uh, very exhausting like. Yeah, and it's really unfair on multiple levels when you think about it because your hormones and your fatty composition is mostly based off of who who your parents were and their composition like it's it's not all that much that you can change yourself you can like gym max and whatever but then you have to do it for like your whole life while a friend of mine has 
uh, nice looking parents. He has nice looking um, grandparents, right? Both sides. And he's two meters tall. He doesn't have to work out. His fist is as big as three of my fists. And he has just huge muscles, you know? Nobody can, like, arm wrestle with him in my friend circle or any random in a bar. Like, nobody. And he never trains. He doesn't do any, like, work. We, we just play video games together. <laughs> That's it. Yeah, he just mocks by existing. Pretty much. Like, the parents did uh, his work for him and his grandparents. And he reaps the reward. Good for him. I guess. But there's also some hacks that, like, you can try yourself. I've I've been into it now, too. There's such... Like, I'm just glad there's a bunch of men that it brings happiness for them. Because for some of them, it seems legit to go out there and actually talk to human beings. Actual human beings who don't, like, sneer at you or rude straight off the bat. Especially women. It, I bet it's a huge confidence boost. And that's very good. Like, I think that's nice. I just hope... It lasts long enough for you guys to reap the rewards. Yeah. I hope it's gonna somehow stay untouched, you know, by mainstream. For your sake, I hope so too. Because either nobody knows that Place even exist, or they are thinking it's just for uh, pure for uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Like when tourists go for, for like one week tourism, like uh, sightseeing with family and shit like that, you know? Yeah, normies don't don't think about like going uh, there for the same reason you're going there. But yeah, yeah. the problem is is that like i don't know how to how to say it bluntly but like the intel population is getting bigger and bigger and it's not due to guys fault or anything like that it's just like the demographic pill just exactly women being that's more and more exactly. demanding exactly. and having more and more how do you say uh, power everywhere like literally everywhere like you should see this women that i kicked out of my car the like i I, I've never turned down a woman in my life before, but there was this chick that came into my car, we drove around, and I'm like, thinking, this is all nice and good, and she's really trying to get on me, I'm like, what would happen if I would just stop, and just told her to get out? So we stopped, she tells me, like, say, wanna, wanna like, uh, exchange numbers, I'm like, nah! She's like, do you got Facebook? I'm like, nah, I don't have Facebook. Do you have, like, Instagram, whatever, 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 I'm like, nah, nah, nah. So she's like, uh, do you like wanna, how are we gonna see each other again? I'm like, why would we? When she got out, she slammed the door so fucking hard, dude. It's like, it like she, the first time in her life she got rejected. I'm like, dude, is every woman like this? Like, never getting rejected, like, fucking ever, ever, ever? <laughs> Holy I mean, shit, uh... man. That was like so yeah. eye opening. Yeah, yeah, of course. And uh, imagine other dudes have to go through this baby 20 times a day if they have some duty or something. And, and it's not just young chicks either, like old mamas. Like I'm 30, 31 now. When I was 30, I drove this like drunk, I don't know, 40 plus year old woman. And she was like getting on to me, like trying to rub her hands on my shoulders while I'm driving and shit like that and then we got out of the car for a smoke and I'm like she's like hey so you wanna like I'm like so yeah see ya <laughs> you should have seen your face 
Like I was, I was still pulling out of the driver and she was still looking at me, like walking towards me, like angrily, like what, what is this? What the fuck? Oh man. That's why I hate them so much, man. Like, sure they're hot and whatever, but like trying to find a woman who's, who's not fucking crazy about her power. Or whatever i don't know how to call it. like not not you mean uh, the goddess syndrome yeah. yeah like not turbo arrogant like of course yeah. i don't think she exists anymore like i met 30 different women throughout the year that showed interest and every single one of them was fucking nuts man fuck oh. Yeah. yeah, I kind of get that they're, like, you don't realize how unconscious most people are. Most insoles don't even know they're into. Oh. Uh, yeah, but you hate Chads. Like, I don't know, man. Like, if you were a Chad yourself, would you really, like, do anything different that they're doing? I would, I would, I would do the same as they're doing. Like, I would just reaper their rewards. Like, why not? Like... They're throwing themselves at you. Why? Why the fuck not? You can get away with even more. I wouldn't bully Intel's if I was a chat though. Like, do chats even do that? Really? I'm not uh, sure, but uh, it doesn't feel here's like the deal. Doesn't... You know that that quote, like quote, uh, if if a, if a void is not chasing you, it's over basically. So it's about those who are being chased, or like. Just for exist existing, yes. and, and then NPC is gonna gaslight you to self improve. Yada yada yada. You are not good enough. Blah blah blah. Yeah yeah yeah. But those guys are usually like uh, they're they're like intels, but they're thrown a bone, sort of. Th those who tell you to self improve, like those mid tier normies, they're just gonna get used by the same women, really. Like the same women, whenever they get a Whenever they get a chance to go for a chat, they're gonna drop them like a hot potato, like... Of course, but at this point, like, chats and stasis are just separate species, they're like a meme, you know? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, of course. <laughs> and I know I'm that, like, I'm not an incel, I'm kind of like a wall cell, I'm like normie tier. But I know something happened in my life that, like, opened my eyes like 10 years ago and I, I couldn't drop these, uh these topics anymore. I had to know everything about, like, autistically know everything about it. Of course. I was, I had the same thirst for knowledge back, back a couple years ago. And yeah, a lot, a lot has changed, but yeah. I mean, uh, oh. do, do you like weed, for example? Uh, that's the thing that opened my eyes. Like, I I did weed for like three to four years, and on the last year, I took weed for like four months every day until like I got fucking crazy. Like I got a panic attack and tried to kill myself on on the highway, but miraculously my car crashed, like tumbled over out of the road. Like I closed my eyes when it happened, and then I uh, woke up. With the car being upside down, it, was, it had LPG, so it wasn't running on petrol. It was running on literal gas yeah. to save money. It's it's like a it's like a Eastern European thing. <laughs> I'm sure you know. <laughs> of course, I mean. Anyway, actually, I was <laughs> doing the my driver license. I, I was doing on L, on this LPG. Oh, I see. Shit. Yeah. It's terrible, bro. Well, my car was on fire when it happened, yeah. and uh, I just got out, and all I had was like a bruise on my shoulder. And I still have the picture somewhere in my folder. It wasn't Norway. And uh, it's it's funny because you can see like the car upside down, it's burning, and there's like a bunch of stuff on the road because I had all my stupid shit in the trunk, and it's all on all over the road. And I'm yeah. talking to this dude and mogging him who's. Uh, I'm not that tall, but I'm like 185, so that's like 6'1", I guess. Anyway, I'm mugging this dude who's standing right next to me, that's the ambulance guy. And I'm just standing there, like, chilling. <laughs> <laughs> it's, 
it's great. So yeah, after that, it was never the same again. Wow. But uh, uh, there's another uh, thing I remember. Have you heard about, uh, like, do you know about the dick pill? Everybody Black knows, pill. I think. Everybody yeah. knows about the posterior fornix? That doesn't ring a bell. I'm not sure. Okay, okay. Um, you know how, like, uh, women complain that guys with big dicks, like, uh, hit them in the... Oh, shit, okay. I, the, I, I see, it. yeah, yeah. What, what is it called? The... Uh, what uh, the cervix, right? When you hit them at the cervix, they say, "Oh, it hurts," and blah blah blah. Well, apparently, women get vaginal orgasms a lot when you go past the cervix. There's this small pocket behind the cervix, and once you like touch the cervix, if you wiggle around, you can get inside there. And no joke, on average, you need at least like a six and a half, seven inch dick to even achieve attempt this maneuver. Everybody below that line <laughs> has no chance to even ever, like, please a woman. Just because it's too... <laughs> please don't talk about this. Okay. I'm not sure. I think it's it must hurt, you know? <laughs> yeah, that's the worst. Ever since I, like, learned about this, I bought, a, like, a pump for the dick. <laughs> and a bunch of, like, pills and shit. Trying to grow it out. <laughs> I'm like, fuck, man. I'm gonna left behind. <laughs> yeah, it's it's pretty brutal. Like, uh, I have a, like a full folder of these uh, statements, comments, or things that the uh, men heard about their girlfriends talking when they didn't know the guy was around. Oh man, like it's it's fucked up. It's it's the it's the reason why these chicks like go back to like quote unquote bad boy chads that uh, like mistreat them, hit them, steal from them, never buy any shit from them. It's more often than not the guy just has a big dick. That's it. That's it. That's all. Yeah, that's all it. there is. Pretty much. Oh, that reminds me of that. Uh... A live stream with a third clinging monkey and there was that guest who who said that uh, like his sister or something is a uh, crazy mad love with some with some chat and he's like uh, ex criminal straight out of jail you know <laughs> and like he wanted to ex explain that like Oh, but it's all dog, about oh. huh? dogs. Dogs on average have longer than six and seven inches. Well, at least uh, the the big one. That so must be some uh, custom uh, custom breed, special species, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh fuck. Actually, <laughs> I'm so, I'm gonna say too much, but. Uh, there's this girl that told me that uh, the reason why she keeps coming back to this guy, like this is in real life, uh, she was drunk and lamenting that she keeps coming back to this guy that mistreats her and why she stays with him and like tries to make it quote unquote work because he has a big dick and she couldn't find a bigger one. Oh man, it, oh, I remember another story. There was this uh, woman I picked up when I was driving Uber. Uh, she's like 60, like 60 over 60. I don't remember, like 63 or 62, she told me. Anyway, I picked her up. She was crying. I'm like, I know it's none of my business, but you're crying. And it pisses me off when people cry. I didn't tell yeah. her this. I'm like, yeah. if you're crying, like, it's okay. Like, if you want to tell me anything or else I'll just shut the fuck up, you know, and don't bother you. And then she told me, like, oh, there's this guy, like, sh sh I spent so much time with him, and blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, you're fine, you're fine. You know, I have to, like, calm her down, so I go, you're fine, you're beautiful, like, whatever. And, like, uh, he's an asshole, don't worry about him. 
And she goes, yeah, he is an asshole. Like, he didn't even wear the fucking, what do you call him? Dick sleeve I bought him. I'm like, what? She goes like, well, we were been there with, I've been with him for two years and he has a small dick. So I bought him a dick sleeve out of that song. And he wouldn't wear it. I'm like, okay. Is that where you're crying? She's like, yeah, kind of. <laughs> That's easy. She's like, she's like 62. Yes, she couldn't orgasm without the dick sleeve, without a big dick, and she's mad about it. That's that's uh, how that that's how high the importance of it is for those who have experienced it. Some women never have experienced like the like the big dick orgasm because you need to like it's it's not just like fucking her raw or whatever, right? You gotta go past the cervix, there's some maneuvering around. But like if they had experienced it, like it's it's why white women say once you go black you can't go back because of this. Dude, women tell me all this weird shit when they're in my car. Like they don't they don't give a fuck. Like they have no if I push the right buttons, they have no modesty at all. Nice. And I'm like I don't wanna brag, but I'm like a pretty socially manipulative person when it makes what when it takes to lift someone's spirits, I can do that usually. Because the formula is pretty easy. Like if they're sad you make them angry. If when they're angry, you just make them laugh. It's very easy. You sure? Yeah. It works. Yes. Because uh, when you're, this is my head cannon, right? This is my like schizophrenia. I think, I think that when people are sad, is just anger directed towards themselves that's why they're sad like something's wrong with them or yada 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 so i just have to convince them from whatever details they tell me that their anger should be directed at somebody else instead of them and then they become instead of sad they become angry and once they're angry it's only a matter of time until you make them laugh because now you know who are they angry at what are they angry about? You just like make a what do you call it? Make a scarecrow out of their target so they can knock it down easy, and then they laugh. Yeah, I'm I'm not ugly. I'm like a six. I'm like a normie, normie, normie guy. Find her quickly. Average dick, average height, average face, average everything. Average intelligence. <laughs> I never said I was an insult. So, oh, John, thanks for tuning in. Six people in the house. Anybody can join. That's okay. You can ban me for it. I don't mind. Actually, like, I uh, never. By the way, the uh, the fornix thing about the dick pill. Uh, most women wouldn't even be able to tell you why they like like big dicks. And other women, which is even a larger portion, who hasn't experienced it, they will tell you these platitudes that, oh, you just need to go down on me, you just need to play with my clit, I'm just not excited enough, and shit like this, right? You need to do everything except dicking her. Like, to make a woman feel an orgasm, a man needs to do everything except the dicking her. Like... That just makes no sense, <laughs> whichever way you slice it.
So yeah, like, I don't know. But uh, there's also a problem what I had with my girl and a lot of people have with theirs. Like, even if the woman has never experienced, like, a big dick orgasm, uh, and you're with her for years, she will still feel, like, unfulfilled. Like, there's a hole inside her, <laughs> literally, that has not been, like, filled. And after years and years and years, she will either, like, stop sex altogether or try to seek out other things. Like, just instinctively. I don't know why. Maybe it's just how they're wired. Right, I'm gonna take a small break. Gonna go have a smoke. Oh, so wait, bro. From nostalgia, you know. Perfect opportunity for somebody else to replace me. Replace? I don't smoke weed anymore. It just it just makes me like uh, aggressive. I actually uh, beat up a guy over weed some years ago and had to spend some time in prison, which was actually a fun, uh, fun ordeal. <laughs> Anyways, we're right back. Over for the prison cells, I guess. Shit, number three. This is the diary of Tom Goodman, volume three, August 27th, 1965. I've installed my top secret spy headquarters in the basement. I call it my inner That's sanctum. Right. Oh, John, it's also like 10 Celsius here. It's very cold, and my knees are cold, basically, it's full heat. Yeah. 
back. That is actually true. <laughs> Fuck. I'm, I'm lost. This game is really hard sometimes. Yeah, now I am having a small break. What's up, chat? So you said uh, you are delivering customers as a taxi man in Norway, yeah? Like, uh... Uh, no, no, in Norway I was in prison, but now I'm back in uh, my hometown. You like Breivik, you know? <laughs> oh, it was, uh, it was pretty uh, eye-opening, like... The... The prison in Norway is really like a hotel experience. Of course. You get your how, own how long you were you been? Half a year. And what was it like? I mean, well, first off, I told the psychiatrist that, uh, like, I had a mental breakdown when I did this, right? So I told him I had trouble sleeping, so he gave me these uh, sleeping pills to help uh, sleep through the night. But I wouldn't take them. So I would just uh, hide them in the fridge. And uh, when I got enough, I would trade these sleeping pills for smokes. Because I smoke and it costs a lot in that country. And this Norway dude would take the <laughs> would take the sleeping pills and then we would go play basketball until he passes out. <laughs> he would pass out when we play basketball. Like he could like <laughs> move his arms after a while. <laughs> oh. so, I, so anyway, like uh, these other dudes... There was this these mafia mafia dudes who asked me if I could like send a letter, and uh, this uh, druggy guy who I gave the sleeping pills to, he was being sent to uh, like uh, another facility for druggies, and it was a lot more lenient. You could go outside and like send mail and stuff. So I gave the mail stuff to him, and uh, he actually did send the letter. And after that, I was kind of friends with these uh, guys, and we would play chess, we would play foot volleyball, we would work out, we would play basketball, like football and stuff. And it was a fun experience. Like really, like uh, it, it was, it was a time when I fell in love with books too. Because uh, there was only like two hours of open time where you could like meet others and do something. And after that it was like closing, you're just closing your room, but you got... Uh, uh, you got your own toilet, you got your own VCR, you can watch movies and stuff, but after you watch everything uh, that there is in the library... You don't have internet though. Uh, it's kind of boring, so I started reading books and uh, since then I've read like 300, 400 books. Damn, that's brutal. Yeah, I just started to love to reading. And after reading like 300, 400 books, I learned to hate reading because I noticed that these guys that write books, they don't really have much to say. They usually just take things out of like studies and stuff. It's either that or they use the same tropes for like uh, to write stories or fantasy or fiction or whatever you know or like crime or and stuff it's always the same repeating plot line and after a while it just gets old yeah so it's like a waste of time but yeah right now i'm back in uh, a baltic country and i just drive around Yeah, what's what's what really got me like 
out of reading and listening to like audiobooks about fantasy, like thriller or like stories in general, is the realization that uh, the author is unable to write a smarter character than himself, like ever. It's impossible. And knowing that, there's only very few authors that can actually write decent stories. That's what, yeah, that's why old classics are really nice. Oh yeah, I also learned to play chess, that was cool. Guys, I'm not generally mix or a chat, I'm just fucking social idiot. Somebody's saying he's Norwooding. Uh, two years ago, I started losing my hairline myself. Ugh, hair is life. Yeah, I mean, uh, I found recently a picture of myself from like 1997 or some shit. And I'm looking at it, and I'm like, what the fuck? I, I had Norwood even back then, you know? It's so like, <laughs> what? <laughs> Since forever, bro. Yeah. Holy shit. Yeah. <laughs> hey, you can thank your parents for that one. <laughs> yeah. Just, I can't figure out which one. It seems to be pretty normal. So, so, I maybe yeah. here's the deal. Maybe it's Chernobyl. Some something in the air fucked us up. You know. Send a thank you letter with some confetti in it. Back to Pripyat. Yeah. No, for real, like, uh, who knows how much Chernobyl caused, like, in my location, like, damage, you know? Nah, it's fucked up. I, I read a bunch of studies about, like, uh, kids being born and uh, how are they healthy or, and not healthy, and it all depends on, like, you can even, like, huh? <clears throat> feed them shit. Feed them baby formula and potato chips and whatnot. Mm -hmm. But if their parents and grandparents were in good health, like, it won't matter that much. They won't even, like, bald or anything like that. But if your parents were fucked up or they were, like, obese or unhealthy and stuff, it doesn't matter what you do. Like, it's... It's bullshit, really. It's... It's just a coin toss. So, but actually, like, that's, I don't know, you guys are gonna hate me for this, but it's a blessing in disguise when you know this, because, like, it doesn't help to be, like, ugly or an insult or whatever, but at the very least, you don't have to blame yourself for it. That's and... exactly what, like, Incel TV is preaching, like, oh, like... Let the black bill guide you. Yeah, uh, hey. I'm all for it. Like, j blame whoever you want, just not yourself, because you're not to blame, really. And then he say, it's uh, not your fault, basically. Yeah, like. Uh... And uh, furthermore, this extrapolates that everyone else who like uh, tries to tell you how to be better, to make you feel better, or that you're not enough and whatnot, like, you have... You can freely hate them and justify it. Like, not just to yourself, but to everybody else. Like... So here's the deal, my personal experience. A couple of years before, I Z-Maxed. I was actually 
in disbelief and huge uh, this uh, what's the word I'm looking for this agreement that CMXing actually might works or is real or it might not work for me blah 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 until I pulled it off and I had to combat through like or I had to first get soaked by tons and tons of evidence from all the sides shooting at me like it works it works this is like that you know JBW this and that and, and, and until the point where the amount the pressure of the evidence was so fucking overwhelming no amount of fucking like self bullshitting was good enough to like have excuse to not to do to do it yeah yeah so, it's fucked up isn't it it's not only that other people gaslight you for what's yeah. not in your control but they try to convince you to gaslight yourself <laughs> sure sure fuck's sake and on top of that the society here in the west is like if you are not miserable with, with them you can't be happy you know alone Well, no, no one is really going to pick on somebody who's already miserable, or at least is able to to show people that he's miserable, right? Because there's not really much they can say or do to like uh, make it worse. Like, what, what, what would even be the point? Why would you kick somebody who's down and is also like miserable? But you don't have to be miserable. Like, if you just show it to other people and just evade. At, at the very least, the normies. Maybe you won't be able to evade the psychopaths, but at least the normies. I don't know. Am I am I bullshitting right now? <laughs> I'm not sure. That's correct. I'm reading quick chat and uh... <laughs> he says, "I don't trace anymore." <laughs> I I know exactly what he means. He means uh, he's wearing old clothing uh, and he don't spend money to buy new ones and that's actually... That's also how you save money, basically. Yeah, I, I use this a lot. I bought like uh, 10 pairs of track pants uh, a year and a half ago and I still use them. They're washed. They're in the wash right now. Bro, my, my clothing looks like the sun was shining on it like 3000 years. Right? <laughs> it's disgusting, you know, it's, it's so fucking colorless, <laughs> it fucking make you vomit, <laughs> you know, <laughs> it's crazy. Yeah, I look like a fucking ancient mummy, you know. Do you, have, do you have like at least one pair of pants and one pair of shoes and sure. one pair of shoes? <laughs> exactly one. <laughs> yeah. Exactly one that looks good? That, exactly that works, one. that works at all, bro. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> it's crazy. <laughs> oh, fuck. But yeah, yeah, I learned a lot of washing because you, you sweat it all the time. So it's the, the, the salty chemicals from your sweat. And then you wash it with some super pH neutral shit, yeah? Total damage to the fucking fabric, yeah? About the hair light thing, um, I'm starting to lose it, right? So I was looking up stuff that could help do it, and there's a bunch of like uh, fake stuff, like minoxidil and that F other Finast bullshit. Finasteride. Like, Finasteride. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's 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 fake bullshit. Fake. Yeah, it like because it helps. I, I have a... it doesn't it doesn't cure you. It helps, but it doesn't cure you. Of so course, it's, so nothing it's, cures. I guess this is just. A... Regress. Yeah, I was looking into the cures, quote unquote, and I, I think I found one, but I don't have the balls to pull it off. Well, transplant. Uh, basically, sting a bee. Sting a bee? Sting a bee into your forehead. Or your head. Stick a what? A bee. Uh, a honey bee? Honey bee? Yeah. It, what? Yes. It's, uh, 
it's what uh, like Russian men and like Eastern European men do when they want to get a bigger dick. They stick a B in their dick, and it it should also like help with the forehead and the hair because it like helps with the uh, it. It has you basically bee venom has some unique properties that lets the blood still flow while uh, engorging the surrounding tissues. I never and heard about that. You mean like a wasp? Yeah. Eh? Uh oh, it's time to ban me. <laughs> it just no, no, for real. I never heard about this this thingy. So. <laughs> yeah, I didn't try. It. I did try it on my on my dick. You did. It? You did try it? Yeah, I tried it on my dick. That's hard I'm to believe, not, you know? I'm not trolling, by the way. I can uh, send you the forum link where I read this, and there's even a picture of before and after of my member there. And I can stream you that I, can, I am actually logged into the account. I am not joking. I told you, like, whenever I learned about the uh, dick pill, black pill, right, about the posterior fornix, um, average in all things, right, so average on the dick too, I, couldn't, I can't live with myself for that, so I'm trying everything, like, uh, I bought a pump, I bought a bunch of uh, dihydrotestosterone, uh, what do you call it, powder? And I <laughs> catch bees during the summer. <laughs> this isn't gay, man. What do you mean, for what? Obviously, to fuck a woman and her actually being able to get off on me and then, like, manipulate her. Like, so that I wouldn't have to be a beta around a woman, basically. If I can at least dick her right. Right? She'll want me. Yeah, of course I have, dude. I told you, I'm a normie. I fucked at least three women. Uh. Ow. Sorry, I was replying to chat. You can't. Yeah, this summer I did a, a B every week for two months. Face me! That hurt! Yep. You'll pay for that. Uh, one thing I do regret though is stinging it onto my head. Uh, I legit thought I was gonna die. Like, actually die. It hurt so fucking much, bro. <laughs> Don't stick it into your head. It didn't actually even do anything. <laughs> Just hurt a lot. Oh, uh, nobody thinks I'm for real. God damn it. Um. Oh, oh, one thing I'll tell you about, like, if you try stinging bees, uh, it's actually really hard to make them sting you. Believe it or not, like if you put one on your on your member, and you can like like you can push it, you can like flick it, and usually it just doesn't sting. You have to like like take it gently and squeeze it, but not kill it at the same time, so it actually stings. Like it's it's really odd like that. And some bees are really aggressive; they just sting you straight away. But others just, like really really don't want to sting you. I can send you guys the link if you want. Can I send the link in chat? Yeah, I'm not gonna try Hornets, bro. Fuck you. But it's Russian, you have to... You have to use Google Translate. Let's see. Oh, by the way, this is not safe for work, just so everybody's clear. Can I post this, by the way, Medikin? Hello? Alright, I'm 
just posting it. <laughs> uh, by the way, guys, I don't, I don't speak Russian. I don't read Russian. I just right click and uh, ask Google to translate this page. It's like, uh, uh, what? I think people are still posting Fred. Let's see. Last post was September 6th, so a month ago. But uh, yeah, if you go through the forum, there's guys who gain like an inch or two from doing this for like a, a year. Yo, I'm back. What's, oh, what's hey, up? I, I wanted to ask you if I can post the link of the bee singing experience, but uh, since you did say it, I think I just posted it. <laughs> yeah, in the quick chat. <coughs> okay. What do you mean we don't care? You're gonna roast me, but you're not gonna care. I think I, I bet I never heard about this. Basically, I this is a new Seriously? new shit to me. If I tell this to no, the info, it's gonna be. Aren't you like, from like Eastern Europe? I, I, the, I mean, sh sh sure, I guess. Yeah. Like I literally like I found about this, and next night I was driving a taxi around and I stopped by a bar to have a smoke, right? And I could like overhear these people sitting outside at a bar talking about this. Like, I feel like this is, like, uh, sort of like common knowledge. Oh, the link got filtered? I actually did yeah, post it. I don't see anything. What the fuck? Uh, what if you, like, change from top chat to live I, chat? I did, I did. I, I have oh. it all the time, like that. Look, uh, I'll just post it in the Discord and anyone who has... Join here. Go out of the house. 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 Go out of the what do you mean, where do you even get beats from? Dude, just, just take a, like a plastic bag, like a small plastic bag, go outside, uh, not in the city, but just drive to like a rural area, and find the flowers, and just take the bait, that's it. That's all there is to it. I can go here. thinks I'm trolling him. Bro, whether I'm trolling you or not is beside the point. I just posted a link of a whole forum of people doing this. Uh, Shit, I'll, I'll even post a screenshot and I'm logged in there. You, you can even find my post in the thread if you wish. See my dick. what? You can't you can't post anymore? You can't post the link to my picture. Okay. Oh, never mind. Uh, TCM. I don't know if it's healthy. But uh, there's a bunch of people there talking about how uh, you're supposed to. Sting it in your scrotum if you have like problems with prostate because it helps with blood flow. And stuff. I don't know if they're telling the truth or if it works, but that's what they say in the forum. So, yeah. Dude, pleasing a Floyd is part of living a more powerful lifestyle, I guess. Imagine if you could, even if you don't move to it, imagine if you have a boss, please most of them to the point that they're like, have a fucking he hentai reaction. Of course, like, uh, yeah, I agree, you know. Yeah, why would you not want to have that? But, uh, this is why people's jailbacks, I mean, inkwells. 
in their location it's, it's not uh, accessible. Yeah, there's like a bunch of vids about like uh, Japan or China where women seek out white men because they have bigger dogs. Yeah, well, I never heard about the bee pill before. This is like a total novelty to the community. Well, of course you, you've not heard of it. Like the, the internet has been watered down to a point where you can't Google anything. And all uh, conversation on like normie sites like Reddit, you're never going to find this info. Like it's, it's pruned. But actually, I did find it on Reddit. I'll admit. But that uh, post slash thread was not received nicely. It was locked. That means has to be some kind of bad idea. So I mean, like, work work for me. No, oh, this is what you mean by conspiracy theories, okay. Yeah. And Max. <laughs> <laughs> no, man, I'm fucking Max. I'm fucking high, yeah. I'm Max, so I can be free. Got you. Don't pay for that. Okay, I really don't know what to do in this level. Like, what is this shitty level design? Idea. What are you supposed to do here? Here I come! Escape! Somewhere over there? Just can't find any way. Are they gonna keep coming until you escape? Like there's no end to them? You can't escape! I can't remember, I played this like 15 years ago. Last I love that you're shotgunning women. <laughs> it's very nice. Oh, they are samurais, ninja. I mean. Yeah, yeah, samurais. Voids. <laughs> Maybe this is the way, who knows? Doing it in real life in Minecraft. <laughs> it's a shopping mall. Okay, this is the way. Okay, okay, okay. Narrow, I told you. I take a small plastic bag, drive out into the. Uh, Can we postpone this? Basically, outside the city, find some flowers. It could be up. Uh, usually, I take Fine. two because one of them. Really doesn't want to sting me, so I take two. And I
Determined. I made a promise. You can't pay for that. So, do you have any plans to like money max or something? Money, check your box. Did you say check your box, bro? No, no, money max. Yeah, yeah, it's the same thing. Okay. Of course, I'm working on it. Yeah. Like, uh, are you gonna try coding? For example, um, I don't know if that's if I'm good at it or you know if I can focus that good. Because I'm thinking about it. Because when I the more I like look into it, the more I realize that the bar is set like extremely low. Really? The bar is low. Yes. Like, uh, I'll tell you what, like, I did, uh, for a couple of, for the past two years, I did some coding just to play video games, like, make a bot in Lineage 2. You should know that game, I think, but the audience probably won't. Lineage 2? It's like M yeah. MMO MMORPG, you know? Yeah, it's, Isn't it? it's like, it's like WoW, but made uh, by Koreans. So anyway, I made bots that would, uh, play the game. Uh -huh. On three different servers for three different accounts, three different characters on every computer I had, and I bought like a bunch of computers. And I also made some Path of Exile scripts to like craft items and stuff like that. And one of my friends like earns like 4k euros a month. And he recently bought a house, but anyway, that's beside the point. Oh, I was looking myself. up some ah! problem in, on the net, like a uh, Mm, what, what do you call it? Like a brain jerker? I think that's how you call it. Anyway, it, I did the problem faster than him just to check how fast he would do it. You'll pay for he was like a half hour behind. Oh. I did it like 20 minutes, he almost took an hour. And I'm like, shit, this, like the bar is really low, you know? I think. But if, if I'm a fucking neat and I can do this like easily with barely any experience and he has been coding for like 15 minutes and he does it really slow like what the fuck but coding in what and for who how, how are they gonna pay you for what well i guess the easiest bar of entry would be to make websites everybody wants their own fucking website to fuck around if they got like uh a spare 1k like people would pay for a discord bot that runs youtube uh, music because discord banned that stuff like a couple of years back you are right actually uh, written bot was small yeah no? uh also just i don't know like simple scripts but that's not where the money is. Like, you could make simple scripts. People would ask you, like, in Fiverr or Upwork or whatever, to, like, download vi all the videos on the site, like a script to download videos on the site or download names. Or, for example, I told you about the Pen2Deal site where I would hack into accounts. Like, 
I didn't need much experience for that. All I needed was to like load up the page, check the source code, find the filter out the usernames, go to the next page and do the same thing over and over until I had like 30,000. But it's just a simple loop script. That's it. And then you have like a login script that does the same thing except for every account. That's it. You buy a VPN that costs like 50 bucks for four years. Uh, just cycle the VPN until bye. you find the account so that you got the money. So, yeah, I think the bar is set really, really low because people just. Oh, enjoy. check it out. It's the Kuri level. That I was waiting for and we crashed. Oh fuck. Oh. Yikes. Need to restart it. Probably memory leak, you know, it's causing this. Uh, old games for 20 years ago. Please load up. Please, please, please. Good. Check it out. Stacy in the house. Ah, Lighting. good. You're awake. I feel dizzy. Nothing a week's up. worth of rest won't clear up. I don't have time for that. I have That's to find Armstrong. Up. I must insist. Come on, you Jesses! Isn't the it ironic that a bunch of doctors are fat if they're like the... Oh, hello, Kate. Armstrong, who do you find me? Oh, that's yo. right, you're a spy. Having a tough go of it? Well, it's eleven against one. Excuse me a moment. That's the spirit, lad. Make that twelve. I didn't see the one in the corner. One damn minute. Take your time. Now I'm mad. I swear, drug maxing is a thing, too. Like, I've been asked for drugs by a lot of women. And right. we all got disappointed now, when I wasn't I do like, for caring you? anyway. I need your help. Uh, I don't know. I've pre Cocaine, in particular. I bet you could, like, just make women suck your dick if they want to make a deal with you for cocaine. I have an appointment with Monsieur Volkov. Excuse me? I was sent for by Dimitri I Volkov. I high reward. Alcata. Yikes. How do I convince them to hire me? Demonstrate your value to them. Maybe they need a maid. Maybe you need your ass kicked. We're being watched. Right. Yo, guys I'll in stay the chat. Here. Do you, you grab him and your find out what he's at? It's a safe bet. The police like, will be looking for you now that they think you killed Kamal's associate. Stay out of their way. Because I personally, even though like I'm a what did they look like? The man was about six feet tall here, with a bushy red beard. I still kind of loathe my parents for not giving me the best start. Like, what's even the point of having a kid if uh, he's gonna have a suboptimal life? Like that's just that's just cool. Like. It's like with pet owners. Why would you have a pet but then torture it? it makes no sense.
We failures to our dads. Yeah, I, I don't... Honestly, for, for myself, I don't give a fuck what my dad thinks about me. Like, if I am a failure, it's his fucking fault. And I don't give a fuck what they think. Let them rot. Fuck them. They didn't know they couldn't know. I don't know, man. Like, if you're not well off, like, why bother having a kid? It's obviously gonna not be good for his life. Wearing yeah, a skirt. I agree with Nero. You mean a kilt? I don't know much about women's fashion. Anyway, I saw a criminal. Megan, you're here. Come back Me? here. Okay, you're here. I'm here. Chat thinking you rope. I'm reading some things. Five hours, thirty-six minutes. So how long we gonna roll tonight? I should grab some food in the meantime. Actually, thanks for doing your videos. By the way, I found your channel. By watching that, uh, which one? How did you found? It wasn't actually your content. Mm -hmm. I am gonna, I'm gonna find it. Uh, it was about. Yes, I saw a man with a carnation. Reverse demographic time ago. pyramid price. Demographic black <gasps> pill by nurse. This is how I found your channel. Oh man, is that? Yeah, it really opened my eyes. Like. Like, I knew something was wrong, but, like, not on this scale. <laughs> on this oh, scale. Yeah, on that scale. That's, yeah, that's right. that scale. All of a sudden, India and all the Indian Indian memes, you know, boob vegana videos and all shit like that, and my mom getting messaged on Facebook by 20-year-old Indian men, all of a sudden that made sense. Like, holy shit. Like, there's these videos of women going to India without, like, a male escort or whatever. And they just get swarmed by these fucking Stop men. right there! God You're damn, under arrest, man. I tell you! It's like there are barely any women in India. I saw a criminal! Take that! Uh, 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 this is for uh, your own good! Uri is beating me up. It's fine. No time for that shit go? when you're picking locks. <laughs> Fuck. I can't remember where to go in this. You have no you want through? 50, 50 rupees. rupees, 50 rupees for checkpoint only in India. Come out with your hands up! You're arrest under arrest! The guy was with You're the going to jail! Excited Please. to see you. 
Carnation. This is for your own good. Oh no. I got gang raped in Calcutta. Whatever. Okay. Pandemic says land whales 30 plus go to Jamaica to get dick. There was one other country where they go to get dick. Fuck, what was it? Check it maps. Jamaica and the uh, world. All those. There was one other, like the northern. Uh, I see you! Morocco! Don't try oh, to run really? from me! Yeah. Morocco is known for uh, Which way did you go? where women go to get their Give fix. Yourself up. There's also like a bunch of vids of 4chan where women actually get decapitated while doing this. <laughs> Come out with your hands up. Tunisia. Tunisia too? Where the hell is Tunisia? Near Libya. In Egypt. Oh, it's also northern Africa. Oh, alright. Yes. Huh. Yeah, so it makes sense. Like, men go to small pussy town. Women go to big dick galore. Makes sense. Um, you said it. Yeah, why didn't UK people have all these fucked up teeth? I don't get it. That's that's a great question. And they all speak so weirdly, like they're all dumb. Stop Please. right there! Come back here! Like loudly and um, it's just weird, dude. Do you have a handgun? You're gonna get rocked. The uh, oh, nice juke. Where are you? You can't hide forever. Oh, one more thing. Mm -hmm. Remember I talked Come about with your hands up. like that uh, hormone? The women You're under it. arrest, I tell you! Cooties? Well, it's produced mostly in the vagina. So if you, uh... Where did you go? Dick a woman without Take protection, that. you're actually gonna get cochlear in, uh, inside you. Through the urethra. It's one of the ways how, uh... Whoa, he... Knock that door out. It's one of the ways how oh, yeah. men actually get uh, <laughs> like a, venereal diseases. Like a Bollywood superhero. Bro. This is for ah. your own good. Because it actually travels You're down your arrest. urethra and gets you infected. That's Tell us where you go. Whatever. I'm you never going to talk. jail. Then you'll die. That's why it's so important to finish. See you. you don't finish. Just stay there. Look out! What's don't this? try to run from me. <laughs> So, E.E., e., the commenter, says so many gay guys today. You know what's really... F okay, I'll shut up. No, I'm listening. What's going on? Well... E.E. E. is talking about gay guys. But I just wanted to point out how gay guys uh, get AIDS. The same way how men Please. contact Come the back I'm suddenly very tired. Through the urethra is the same way gay guys get shit their cock inside it. They get AIDS.
they literally get shit in their bloodstream. Perhaps you can ask the flower vendor. A man with a carnation? Haven't seen him. Yes, a man bought a pink carnation from me just a few minutes ago. Are you his friend? He dropped that. Look by NPC. Stuck. Yeah. This time. Okay. They say that murder victim was stabbed, shot, and stomped on by an elephant. How horrible. Wearing a carnation? No, I'm sorry. So how often do you get uh, guys in the voice chat? Like, uh... These days, the question is how often I don't get. Because last two years, it was all like, like literally like 10, 10 or 15 people here. This is for your own good! Okay, oops. Oh, nice. Whoa! 15 people. Sometimes the old ones. You want through? 50 rupees! Hey, that worked. Where should I go? Stop right there! You're under arrest, I tell you! Um. <gasps> Where are you? You can, like, take his machete with the banana after he flips. There has to be some... You can hide forever! Maybe down here. Tell us where he is! I'll never talk! Then you'll die! Don't... Try to run from me! Look out! Hmm. Uh. Ha! That uh. What about the fucking police? Need to... I need banana or something. Take that! Uh. Why not just shoot him? The, oh, the, the mission fails. I see you. I see it. Which way did you oh. go? Oops. <laughs> Where are you? I need to figure out another side. I'm out of health and everything. Too much booty cops everywhere. Hey. Rather save up. Someone was murdered near here. India, super yeah, power. They have a. Um, so they put uh, some satellite on uh, the moon. 
recently, do you know? Or it's it's fake news. <laughs> okay. Who knows? I think it's real. Who knows? You're under indeed? arrest! If you can't verify this is for yourself, your own good. really real. Stop right there! Which way did you go? Please. <laughs> <Rest next year. laughs> Just need to figure out. Okay, this is it. You can't hide forever. We have like a ton of skill points. Do I? Do I? No, seven twenty only. Where are you? That's not much. And they will be Kamal. Who the fuck is Kamal? Marker, it's easy. For autistic medical cells, we have a marker. Are there any conspiracy theories that you yourself subscribe to? Well, I'm not sure if I'm subscribed to conspiracy stuff. Ah, oh, there you are. I, I mean, was beginning not for to you, worry. but what this would map a shows the location would of how think is a conspiracy theory. I mean, you mean like uh, Alex Jones or Joe Rogan or or like oh. what do you mean? No, I mean something actually, actually real. But if you tell it to a normie, they'll think you're crazy. Get what I mean? Of course. Who's hideout? I left a package for you in a newspaper box near there. Oh, before I forget, you probably need some money to get by Crazy Harij. Fifty rupees should be enough. I'm like super hungry right now, maybe we should wrap it up. I'll send 10 people to the streets. I see you! Have mercy! You're under arrest! Which way did you go? Nero, I think it's uh, it's bullshit. And Vax put in. What is Vax? You may pass. With Vax? No, no, don't say it by name. Just oh, okay, I see now. Reply to the comment for your own channel's sake. Of course, now I see. Maybe I can the clear my calendar. AI tonight. listener bots are very smart nowadays. Take you to dinner? If you say something bad about current 
today thing. You have to talk good about it afterwards. To use your eavesdropping bug, simply fasten it to a telephone receiver. Make sure you find a place to hide until the conversation ends, then activate the bug to play back the recording. David right here. Nice. Yeah, yeah. Maybe I'm gonna continue. Maybe tonight. Much later. Alright, have a good meal, man. But I'm not sure. And probably tomorrow. Do you have some, uh, some, mo some, uh, Last message to say. What? Me? Yes, exactly six hours live stream. I'm wrapping it up. Thank you for having me on. Take care, brothers. Don't blame yourselves. Blame the world. It's its fault, not yours. Yeah, stay tuned. We will live stream tomorrow. Thanks for tuning in.